205 days, blood over intent. Um, so, I was, I had to check on some of this, and with myself, um, so now I'm able to, uh, like, alter the reality around me of what's going on, like, um, so I can do or say just like subtle things and somehow I can, I, I'm able to, to know what it is that I need to change and then I like I know the path back to where I'm at and by doing something or or sometimes with by just not doing something and like um I have certain things happen I can make them happen in a way that is it's like benefiting me of doing the whole thing I'm trying to do which is find the truth and and bring heaven on earth um and the other thing is this is weird like I can, especially if it's like, let's say I'm interacting with someone, um, doesn't matter who it is, a perfect stranger, I don't, it, it doesn't matter, uh, and, um, like they give off, or I just get this sense that, of like, uh, like a good vibration, and, like, it, I feel it inside, and then, like, I can make these people, not really make them, but, yeah, I guess it is kind of like that, like, like, they want to hug me, it doesn't matter who it is, like, if, if, if I want it to happen, I think it happens, like, uh, me and my brother were parking cars for the Florida Classic, you know, in our uh, shop parking lot. And this beautiful black woman came up and my brother was taking pictures with their camera and she handed me her phone and they all got in a picture and I took, you know, her picture and I asked her, you know, just make sure, you know, it went through because I couldn't hear the click and like she thanked me and then... She like kind of gave me a, a fist bump and then, and then a hug. And then I was like, I wanted it to happen again. And just, she just like in the middle of walking back, turned back and, and, and just came over to me and, and grabbed me by the neck and hugged me and gave me a kiss on, on my cheek. And it happens a lot. Um... It doesn't matter even if it's guys or, or, or whatever it is. It's just like, especially like older, um, older, older people for some reason. Like they want to like shake my hand all the time and, and, and like, you know, like do the hug and everything. So, I mean, what, can you fucking do that shit? Why, why would you not want to do that? Why wouldn't you want that to be, I'm, I'm, I have no, I have no reason to lie or, 
I'm not trying to impress anyone. I imagine everyone can do this. And... If you... If you really start to think about it... Like... All you have to do... Is to be able to... Take the truth... What you know... And... If you can... Make a logical... Conclusion about something... Then that is in a way... Convincing yourself... That that thing... That you think... Or how you think is... Possible and you... Can figure out how to do it. Like you know how everything's vibrating, and it gives it its its density and its buoyancy. And like if you, like if you tell a girl, uh, you know she's pretty or whatever, and you know people see her walking around like, oh she's you know light on her feet, look. She, she feels good and, and all this other stuff. She looks a lot lighter. Because she's vibrating faster and uh, with the happiness. So, it's the, same, the opposite. When you're in vibrating low, you, you are pulled. You're weighted and your feet hurt and your back hurt. and You're just so heavy. So, somehow, we should be able to, I'm guessing with your, your pineal gland somehow able to control your vibration and um, change it. To actually make you float. To like levitate. And I would imagine that you could start to do that with. Like um. Like other things. Like. You know. Objects. Um, and it's like my nephew did acid like LSD and he kept telling me about like like the feeling what it felt like physically Everything that was going on. And when he told me, I was like... Because I, I had never done acid in my life. You know? And I'm like... Man, that sounds so familiar. What he's describing. Not in... Not like for prolonged times like he was talking about. Anyway, I ended up... Like I said, can, I don't have time to be doing acid. Let's just put it to you that way. But somehow, I wanted to try and see what was going on with that. And everything happened, maybe not the way I planned it or, or anything, but everything happened so that it could happen. And when I did it, and it started kicking in, it was like, I have always done this. It was so familiar, just, it was like, I knew, it's like every time something would happen, I'd be like, I know, I, I remember this happening, I remember this happening, I remember this happening. And ever since then, like, I'm able to, 
when I'm, especially when I'm meditating or, or I can get into that zone, I can get that same thing. Like I feel it to begin and it's like every time I'm able to get closer and it starts happening again and again, it's just, I think that maybe like if DMT is close to how ass it is, then my shit's getting ready to open. Um, and for now, I just got to deal with, uh, all these fucking people. That are somehow convinced that they can, in their head, believe that a force called gravity can hold an atmosphere inside of a vacuum. A bird, a butterfly, a leaf can just blow up into the air. No real effort and escape this force. But somehow, this atmosphere, which is air and gases and water, it's held in. Look, if you have a vacuum, if you make a canister with a vacuum, you suck all the air out and you puncture a hole, all the air from the outside is gonna rush in, creating a vacuum. And they're telling you that gravity holds that force. And you believe it. That you you believe that. But that's because you <sighs> you wake up in a box, on a box spring, in a box, inside of another box, go in another box, do some stuff, go down, get in your box, you stop in another box and buy some boxes of things, wait in line, come out, get back in your box, drive in some more boxes, big boxes, tall boxes, all kinds of cubicles and boxes and squares and rectangles and lines but when you talk to me you think you know something that like your opinion matters and it doesn't it's the until you've done a lot over intent to prove at least I don't fucking care who you are and I don't care about any other shit until if you have not put blood on paper and your intention to bring forth heaven on earth then your opinion is nothing it's it's the it's idea is the enemy uh, it's the enslavement it's it's just like how everything is the ones you want all to wake up are the ones that are the when it comes down to it the the problem It's like you have to, it's not like you have to, you do love them and hate them. <laughs> and now we're going to 
Swing this motherfucker back.